Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, today we're embarking on an exciting journey into the world of finance. We're going to explore a topic that's not only important but can potentially change the trajectory of your financial future. How I would invest my first $1,000 in the stock market. For those of you who are new here, I'm your name, and I've been navigating the complex landscape of investments for quite some time now. I've made my fair share of mistakes and learned valuable lessons along the way, and today, I want to share that knowledge with you. Investing can often seem like an intimidating and enigmatic endeavor, especially when you're just starting out. The fear of losing your hard-earned money can be paralyzing. But let me assure you, every successful investor started somewhere, and it's crucial to take that first step. In this video, I'm not only going to provide you with valuable insights into how I would approach investing $1,000, but I'll also break down the fundamentals, strategies, and practical steps you can take to make informed investment decisions. We'll discuss the importance of setting clear financial goals, creating an emergency fund, and addressing high-interest debt before diving into the world of stocks. I'll introduce you to different investment options, such as individual stocks, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and explain the pros and cons of each. Furthermore, we'll delve into the art of research and analysis, helping you understand how to evaluate companies, sectors, and market trends. I'll provide insights into both fundamental and technical analysis, giving you the tools to make well-informed investment choices. Once we've covered the basics, I'll guide you through the practical steps of opening an online brokerage account, making your first investment, and setting up essential safeguards like stop-loss and take-profit orders. We'll also discuss the costs associated with investing. But that's not all. This video isn't just about getting started, it's about maintaining your investments and adjusting your strategy as needed. We'll talk about monitoring your portfolio, staying updated with financial news, and making necessary adjustments to stay on track toward your financial goals. Before we dive headfirst into the world of finance, remember that investing comes with risks, and there are no guarantees of profit. It's essential to approach this journey with patience, a long-term mindset, and a commitment to continuous learning. Throughout the video, I encourage you to engage with me. If you have any questions or valuable experiences to share, please leave a comment below. I'm here to provide guidance and foster a community of aspiring investors. Lastly, if you find this video valuable, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving it a thumbs up, and sharing it with friends and family who might also benefit from the information we're about to explore. Let's kick things off by diving into the fundamentals of investing. Before we start allocating our first $1,000, it's essential to understand the core principles of investing in the stock market. First and foremost, what exactly are stocks? Stocks represent ownership shares in a company. When you purchase a stock, you become a shareholder in that company and your fortunes are tied to its success. Now, why invest in stocks? Well, stocks historically offer one of the highest returns on investment over the long term compared to other assets like bonds or savings accounts. However, they also come with higher risk, and it's crucial to balance this risk with your investment objectives. One key concept to grasp is the relationship between risk and reward. The potential for higher returns in the stock market goes hand in hand with a greater level of risk. It's important to be aware that your investments can go up or down in value and there are no guarantees of profit. Diversification is a critical strategy to manage risk. Instead of putting all your money into a single stock, it's advisable to spread your investments across a variety of assets. This helps reduce the impact of poor performance from one investment on your overall portfolio. In essence, diversification is like not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's a risk management tool that can help you weather market fluctuations and improve the chances of long-term success. 
As you embark on your investment journey, it's essential to assess your risk tolerance. This means understanding how comfortable you are with the idea of losing some or all of your initial investment. Your risk tolerance will influence your investment choices and strategy. In summary, before we delve into the specifics of investing $1,000, remember the key principles. Stocks represent ownership in companies, higher returns come with higher risk. Diversification is a powerful risk management tool, and your risk tolerance shapes your investment approach. The first step in this preparation process is setting clear financial goals. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve with my investments? Whether it's saving for retirement, buying a house, or funding your child's education, having specific goals will guide your investment decisions. Another vital aspect of financial preparation is establishing an emergency fund. This fund acts as a financial safety net, covering unexpected expenses like medical bills or car repairs without needing to dip into your investments. Before you start investing, it's also wise to address any high-interest debt you may have, such as credit card debt. Paying down high-interest debt can be one of the best investments you make, as it frees up more of your money for future investments. As you prepare, it's essential to assess your risk tolerance. Your comfort level with risk will influence the mix of investments in your portfolio. If you have a low risk tolerance, you may lean towards more conservative investments. If you can tolerate more risk, you may consider a more aggressive approach. Remember, investing isn't a one-size-fits-all endeavor. It should align with your unique financial situation and goals. Additionally, consider building a solid foundation of financial knowledge. Learning about various investment options, strategies, and financial instruments will empower you to make informed decisions. To summarize this section, clear financial goals, an emergency fund, addressing high interest debt, and understanding your risk tolerance are all critical steps in preparing for your investment journey. With these foundations in place, we're better equipped to move forward. In the next section, we'll explore the different investment options available to you, helping you make the right choice for your $1,000 investment. Stay tuned for valuable insights into stocks, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. When it comes to investing, there are various options available, but we'll primarily focus on three individual stocks, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. Each has its advantages and disadvantages. First, let's talk about individual stocks. Investing in individual companies can offer substantial growth potential if you select the right ones. However, it can also be riskier because your success is tied to the performance of a single company. Next, mutual funds. These are pools of money from multiple investors, managed by professionals who invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. Mutual funds provide instant diversification, making them a popular choice for beginners. Lastly, ETFs, or exchange-traded funds. ETFs are similar to mutual funds but are traded on stock exchanges like individual stocks. They offer diversification and typically have lower expense ratios than mutual funds. So, which should you choose? Well, it depends on your risk tolerance, investment goals, and the level of involvement you want in managing your investments. For beginners, ETFs and mutual funds often provide a more diversified and less risky approach. They spread your investment across multiple assets, reducing the impact of poor performance from one company or sector. Individual stocks, on the other hand, require more research and monitoring but can potentially offer higher returns. If you're passionate about a particular company or industry and enjoy researching and following the stock market, individual stocks might be the way to go. Ultimately, your choice should align with your investment strategy and comfort level. Some investors even combine these options in their portfolios for a balanced approach. 
In the next section, we'll delve deeper into the research and analysis required to make informed investment decisions, whether you choose individual stocks, mutual funds, or ETFs. Before you invest a single dollar of your $1,000, it's essential to do your homework. Knowledge is your most potent tool in the world of investing. The first step in your research journey is to identify the companies, sectors, or industries you're interested in. Consider what aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Once you have a target in mind, gather information from various sources. Financial news websites, company reports, and market analyses are valuable resources. Look at a company's financial health, growth prospects, and competitive position. You'll want to delve into both fundamental and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis involves evaluating a company's financial statements, such as its income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Pay attention to key financial metrics like earnings per share, EPS, price-to-earnings, P-E ratio, and debt-to-equity ratio. These metrics can provide insights into a company's stability and profitability. On the technical side, you'll use charts and indicators to analyze price movements and trends. Technical analysis can help you time your entry and exit points for investments. It's also essential to consider the broader market conditions. Market sentiment, economic indicators, and geopolitical events can impact your investments. Remember, research isn't a one-time task. Regularly monitor your investments and stay updated with news that may affect your chosen assets. If all this sounds overwhelming, don't worry. There are tools and resources available to simplify the research process, even for beginners. In the next section, we'll explore how to execute your investment decisions, from opening an online brokerage account to placing your first trade. So, stay tuned to see how we put our research into action. By understanding the importance of research and analysis, you're one step closer to becoming a well-informed and confident investor in the stock market. The first step in executing your investment is to open an online brokerage account. Many reputable brokerage platforms are user-friendly, making it easy for beginners to get started. When choosing a brokerage, consider factors like fees, user interface, and available tools and resources. Make sure the platform aligns with your investment goals. Once your account is set up, you're ready to make your first investment. Whether you've decided on individual stocks, mutual funds, or ETFs, the process is relatively straightforward. For individual stocks, search for the company you're interested in, enter the number of shares you want to purchase, and place your order. Be sure to set price limits, like a limit order, to control the price you're willing to pay. For mutual funds and ETFs, search for the specific fund you want, check its expense ratio, and place your order. ETFs are traded like stocks, so you'll use a similar process. Remember to factor in transaction costs and fees, such as brokerage commissions. These expenses can impact your returns, especially when you're working with a smaller initial investment like $1,000. Setting up safeguards is crucial. Consider placing stop-loss and take-profit orders. A stop-loss order helps limit your losses by automatically selling a security if it reaches a specific price point. A take-profit order locks in profits by selling when the security reaches a certain price. Keep in mind that market orders, where you buy or sell at the current market price, can be riskier, especially for volatile stocks. Limit orders give you more control over the price you pay or receive. Once your investments are executed, it's essential to track and monitor them regularly. Online brokerage platforms usually provide tools to help you keep an eye on your portfolio's performance. In the next section, we'll discuss an important aspect of investing, understanding and managing the costs associated with your investments. Stay tuned for tips on optimizing your investment expenses. By learning how to execute your investment decisions effectively, 
you're taking significant steps towards building a robust investment portfolio. We've reached the end of our journey, and I hope you found this exploration of investing your first $1,000 in the stock market valuable. Remember, investing can be a powerful tool for building wealth over time, but it's not without its risks. It's essential to approach this journey with the right mindset. In this video, we covered the fundamentals of investing, the importance of preparation, the different investment options available, the significance of research and analysis, and how to execute your investment decisions. We discussed setting clear financial goals, creating an emergency fund, managing high interest debt, and understanding your risk tolerance. Whether you choose individual stocks, mutual funds, or ETFs, the key is to align your investments with your unique financial situation and objectives. Investing is a journey that requires continuous learning and adaptation. The financial world is dynamic, and it's crucial to stay informed about market conditions and make necessary adjustments. Lastly, remember that there are no guarantees in investing. Your investments can go up or down in value, and it's essential to have a long-term perspective and exercise patience. I encourage you to start your investment journey with confidence. Take that first step, even if it's a small one, and continue learning and growing as an investor. If you have any questions or experiences to share, please leave a comment below. Let's foster a community of aspiring investors who support each other.